Let me get that, baby. Uh. Hey. Lipstick, check. Uh. Looking fresh, check. Somebody call Yancy because I'm all about my check. Get my all white checks. You can get check trying to get rich. Dollars, check, check, check. <laughs> don't like watching animals who are more successful than me, you know? It's a fucked up thing to watch on TV, right? Hey, this is Princess Cardigan. Uh, she's a $700,000 quarter horse. Uh, she lives in the West Village in a one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> All right, horse. Let's stop bragging for a while. New York City, it's After Hours with Shelly Rome. Tonight, from Princesses Long Island. Oh, you married? What is going on here? I mean, you're so beautiful. It's the whole thing. What's wrong with you? Don't worry, Soon. something wrong with you? And then you go to a wedding, and they're like, oh, soon by you, soon by you. Yeah. We're, we're praying for you. I'm like, please don't. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm you know, good. it's funny. Ever since the show, I think the one one of the one good things out of the show was a lot of people tried to set me up. Yeah. So, you I'm know, sure. the more you're out there, of course. the better. So, um, again, Kristen, Ms. Kristen McLeod, we're very, very happy to have you both on our program. Thank you. Thank you. Now, today we're going to hear three songs, I believe. Mm -hmm. And what are those songs? What, can you tell us what they are? Well, we're going to start this afternoon with This Little Light of Mine. It's a traditional mainstay mm -hmm. in the African American Trill, Trill, Trill. Herring, pork, are swat. Can be so sweet when you start to eat the different parts. Like, he needed to have me live with uh, someone else to aid in my earlier development. So I went to board with Reverend. P. Pearl Davis, who was the principal of my prep school at the time, Unity Prep, and um, she was also minister of Unity Faith Center. And I spent the better part of my young adult. Uh, a memoir is a way of writing a much more intimate kind of narrative, and there's no veil. There's no need for me to um, kind of disguise my own experiences the way that I do perhaps when I'm writing fiction or writing plays. So I've already written one memoir, it's called Stranger in the Family. 